Hello, this is Ms. Pat from San Luis Public Library. This week in Science Scouts, we're going to make paper circuits. Okay, and the circuit has to do with electricity. So we're gonna learn about lights and making things glow. Our story this week is How to Crack a Star by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his own. He dreamed of how his star would be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch one. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. The next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. So he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and ate lunch. and waited, and after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. The star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with a life preserver from his father's boat, but it was much too heavy for him to carry. If only he could fly up in a spaceship and just grab the star. But the only spaceship he owned was made of paper and it didn't fly very well at all. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help. The boy worried he would never catch a star. But then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen out of the sky. He tried to fish it out with his hands. But when the boy reached out to touch the star, it just rippled through his fingers. Now the boy was sad, but in his heart, the wish just wouldn't give up. Slowly, he began walking home. And that's when he saw it, washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. And he took it home and read a story. <laughs> okay, so stars are something that glow in the dark and they might be something that you could draw tonight or today when we do this project. There's other things also that would light up and we'll talk about those. So what causes a circuit to light up? And we're gonna work with these little LED lights again. A circuit is a complete enclosed path. 
around which electricity can flow. Okay, so electricity has to go from one thing to another. It goes from a power source. In this case, it's gonna be a battery. And it goes to a load, which is something that uses the electric current and you know it works because it lights up. Okay, notice this one goes from a battery and we have wires to make a closed circuit and it goes to the light. So that's a closed circuit and the electricity will flow through there. Now, it flows because of conductors, right? Conductors or materials or devices that let the electricity flow easily, right? An example would be scissors or paper clips, aluminum foil, iron, steel, and copper. We're gonna deal with copper today, okay? But that lets it, lets the electricity, which is why they tell you don't hold a metal stick outside in a lightning storm because the conductor is going to attract that electricity. It's gonna let the electricity go right through that metal stick in your hand and into you. And that's not good. So that would be a conductor. You don't wanna hold anything metal when you're outside or anywhere near electricity. You wanna be insulated, right? And a material that does not allow electric current to pass through, keeps you protected. Okay, plastic. That's why there's plastic always wrapped around the wires, right? Cloth, rubber. In a car, the rubber tires insulate you, okay? Glass, glass does not attract electricity. Plastic doesn't attract electricity. Rubber doesn't attract electricity, okay? That's why we can put those little plastic things in the electrical outlets to keep people from putting metal things in the electrical outlets, right? All right, when you can connect an LED to the battery, we're gonna use copper tape. You make a closed circuit. That means the electricity can flow through the loop from the battery to the light and back again, which lets it light up. Now we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna keep the light on all the time because then the battery is gonna kind of drain, right? It's not like your house battery where we're just paying for the electricity. The battery is going to lose energy. So we wanna turn it off. If one or more of the connections is broken, okay, one of the LED things is not touching the copper tape, or even the battery is not touching the tape, then we're gonna have an open circuit. Electricity cannot flow in an open circuit. So this would be a closed circuit, everything's connected. Notice down here, they kind of pulled one of the wires off. That means it's an open circuit. When you guys flip a switch, you're making an open circuit. When you flip the switch, it disconnects something. It makes an opening in the circuit so that the lights don't keep going on. Okay, that would be an open circuit. A closed circuit is when the light is on. So when you guys come into the library, you're gonna get a kit this week, follow the directions and get creative. These guys made flowers and they put lights in their middle of their flowers. Okay. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So you're gonna come in and you're gonna get a kit and it's gonna have lights, it's gonna have little paper, it's gonna have copper tape, which I've already put on here, but you can make it shorter. Now you do have to make sure you don't cross them. Okay, you have to have one, two, and I will show you a picture that they have here. They made kind of like a rainbow, all right? Notice they're not crossing, this is just tape. And the tape is actually holding these things down, okay? But they don't cross over. They do have to be connected. So you can't just make one here, one here, and one here. If they're not connected, you're gonna need three different batteries. And you're gonna get a battery. Okay, so be very careful with this. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is draw a picture. And my granddaughter drew fireflies. I do want you to see what I did with the tape or what she did with the tape, okay? We put it all the way over here on the side. Now that's a slight problem because you can see some of her fireflies on this side, which is good. We can light these ones up. These ones over here, they're not by the tape. We can't light them up. So when you get the tape, you're gonna peel off the back. You're gonna put the tape on, okay? If you put two things, and then you're gonna take your light. 
I'm going to take the green one this time. And I'm going to poke a hole through one of the fireflies so I can see where it is, okay? And that one's on the wrong side of the tape, I can tell. All right, you can see it here. I need it to be in the middle of the tape, so I'm gonna kind of move it over. It needs to be over here. I don't want it to go through the tape. So I'm gonna move it over a little bit more again. All right, and now that I've poked my hole, I'm gonna flip it over and go in from this side. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. I got to put it on this side because I want my lights to be on here. All right, so you can see this one's kind of not on my firefly. It's kind of over a little bit, but that's because I need them in between the tape. Now, on these lights, right, there are a long one and a short one. Okay, and you can see a long one and a shorter one. And you gotta pay attention to that one because you need one on each. Okay, the long one should go on one tape. And the short one should go on the other. Now you're gonna spread them out. And this is where the regular tape is gonna come in. Okay, so I kind of got them spread out. And then you would put a piece of tape over it because every time I do this, you might be noticing this one is kind of up in the air. So I'm gonna to need to put a piece of tape over it so that I can leave it like that. Otherwise, it's going to not touch the tape. It has to touch the copper one-on-one. -on -one. Now, the other thing you have to be able to do is take your battery. Right? And this is why the problem is we're trying to do this in the middle of a paper. But think about it, kind of play with it. Um, the battery has pictures on one side. I know you kind of can't see that. It does have writing on this side. Okay, it kind of looks like a mirror. It has a plus sign. So I want that to touch one of my copper things. Okay. Now, remember, you can see the picture, right? They're not lit up. I'm not sure the green one's gonna work because I didn't put tape on it yet. So I want this here. Now I'm gonna fold this one over. And I'm folding this over so that this piece, one, one of the other piece, right? I'm putting this on the longer piece, on the inside piece. And I want the other piece to fold onto the top. And when it folds onto the top, all right, so the green one's not gonna work if I don't have it taped. But you can see that this one is, okay, this one's lit up. And that's because, again, this is touching one. And when I fold it, this tape goes onto the back. When it goes onto the back, it lights up. The green one will light up as soon as I get it taped down. Now, if it doesn't work, there are two things you can try. Flip the battery. Maybe you got it backwards because I'm going to flip it so that it's the wrong side up. All right, so I've got the words up now. I've got the words up on top instead of down. And I flipped it over and it doesn't work. My battery is upside down. Now, if that's not the case and you know you got the battery going the right way, maybe you got these things going the wrong way. Okay, and you might have to take your LED light out 
and you might have to switch which one is which. Okay, so still not getting, I can't hold the green, I can't hold both pieces down. So I'm not getting the green one to work without the tape, but the yellow one will work. So those are two things that, and this thing, the directions will tell you how to troubleshoot it. Again, usually it's either that the wires are on the wrong spot, maybe they're not touching the copper, or maybe your battery is in backwards, all right? And if you've ever used batteries in a toy, you know, if you don't put them in the right way, they don't work. Okay, so think about what kind of pictures you wanna draw. I showed you flowers before and they got flowers and they got fireflies. And then they have, I think it's Captain America's shield and a cupcake with a candle. They have a unicorn. Um, they wrote mom because Mother's Day is coming up. So they wrote mom and lit up the O for mom. And then they just made another candle of some sort. So you guys can, whatever you want. Um, these ones up here, they drew a robot and they tried to get both eyes to light up. So think about what lights up. What do you want to do? And you can light up letters. You could light up anything. You could draw a tree and make your apples light up. Now I am going to tell you, you're only getting three lights, but if you buy these, you can always add more. And this is copper tape because we say copper is a conductor. Now, if you want to keep it lit up, you can take a paper clip, put the paper clip on it. Now it'll hold the battery there and it will stay lit up. Should we leave them lit up all the time? No, because eventually my battery is going to run out of power and then it won't light up at all. all right? So remember, you can show it especially if you make a Mother's Day card, you can show it. And then when you're done, undo it, okay? Put the battery in a safe place because we don't want the dogs or the cats or little brothers and sisters to get this, okay? Put this in a safe place. And then when you want to light it up again, you can put it on, okay? And that's how we make paper circuits. So we made a circuit on a piece of paper and you lit up your your card or your picture. All right. Enjoy. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.